guys, my name is Asio Doa co-host of Prime Morning on Joy Prime TV. Keep on watching GA Dog TV. It's the best. You have no idea. Yeah, it's the number one dog TV that you could ever chance on. Keep it logged. Bye. GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. Your GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. If you're new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel when you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. Today, we are getting up close with a dog breeder. But then, before I get up close with a dog breeder and check out some of the beautiful dogs in this kennel, let me acknowledge our proud sponsors. We are proudly sponsored by Bravecto Chew, your number one solution to all ticks, fleas, and mice infestations. You've seen ticks on your dog's flea smite just go to any pet shop or you pick the contact details on our screen and then you get one tasty soft perfect with you and after giving your dog one tasty soft perfect with you they're going to be free from ticks fleas and mice infestations for 12 good weeks perfecto can be given to breeding dogs lactating dogs as well as puppies from eight weeks of age and then we're also proudly sponsored by Josira pet food the pet food with passion you have dogs you're looking for the right dog food for them Come on, just pick the contact details or when you go to any pet shop, you ask of a product from Josira Pet Food. And the beautiful thing is they've given got dog food for diet sensitive dogs, which are grain free and hypoallergenic. Now, dog lovers, let's go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Don't go anywhere. Having trouble dealing with ticks, mites and fleas infestations on your dogs? Use Brevecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto chew and they will be free from ticks, mites and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto chew. Your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas, and mite infestations. Okay, welcome back to the show from that quick break. Today, I told you I'm getting up close with a dog breeder. Yesterday, I'm visiting a kennel and I've been to this kennel before. But then, before I introduce the boss man of this kennel, in case you're new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at GH Dog Blogger. And in case you want to contact GH Dog TV, you want us to visit your kennel, pet shop, you want to be on the show. Just link up with us, pick the contact details on our screen. Now, dog lovers, I'm right here at Alpha Hyundai Kennels. Yes, in the greater Accra region of Ghana. I know you are smiling from the last visit that was two years ago. The feedback that came was massive. What's man? Welcome to the show once again. Thank you very much, Sulu. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be on your show. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm loving the scenes right here as well new sets of dogs and new changes and all of that but before we really get into that let me officially allow you to introduce yourself once again okay so the name is dr sarah sampontabidu um do i say the chief servant at alpha handicap right <laughs> yeah so that uh, um, i'm a pharmacist and by day like i said in the last video and i breed by night yeah um German Shepherd, I think in the last video there were a few Rottweilers here and there. Uh, we've had some very good collaborations with um, one or two kennels, uh, specifically Legion. I'm sure very soon you'll, you'll pay Legion a visit. Yeah, and he has uh, some fantastic Rottweilers. Uh, we thought, why not? Um, we want to focus on German Shepherds. We want to um, take the entire you know, space in West Africa and then in, even in Africa. And I'm sure we'll get into that later. So, yeah. Um, since your last visit, we have moved um, into German Shepherds now. And, and we are doing fantastic, you know, in that space here. Nice one, though, Glavis. You heard it from the boss by now. Alpha Honda is into strictly German Shepherds. In our last video, in case you did not watch that video or you're just bumping into our channel, the link is in the video description. Go check out our first visit after watching this one. 
now for Honda Kennels is into German Shepherds. So, boss man, how have things been since our last visit? I think our last visit was in um, August 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. And I still get calls from that that um, visit. You know, I still get people who, who are now watching it or have watched it for the umpteen, umpteen time and are still asking, you know, questions um, over there. I think um, the, the exposure this channel gives the, the kennel is, is, is awesome, you know. And uh, like you said, in your intro i mean if you want solo to to pay you a visit you should come call solo and then yeah um, he will come in and give you the exposure that you need um it's it's been fantastic it's been one success after the other you know um, after your last visit and um yeah 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 uh, part of the success story so yes thank you also for the exposure yeah. You're always welcome, boss man. I know there's there's been a lot of um, new development since our last visit as well. I think you you vis you went to Kenya for a dog show where it, it was beautiful. You've won some medals, and now you're even the current president of the Kenya Union of Ghana. Absolutely, absolutely. So we we were uh, visited our colleagues in Kenya, um, the EAKC East African Kennel Club. Um, we got an invitation and, and visited one of their um, dog shows, right? Um, it's, it's a way we, we, we network, you know. Um, as, as I've mentioned, we, we are across Africa now. You know, you see an alpha handy dog um, all over Africa, several countries in Africa. And once in a while, we, we go out there to meet our colleague breeders to learn, you know, to exchange ideas. And then use the opportunity also to visit people who are bought from us, you know, and see how our dogs are doing, um, especially in those <coughs> parts of Africa, you know. Um, even in Ghana, uh, for people who buy, we, we periodically find out, you know, make sure that the dogs are doing well um, in, their, in their new environments and all that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and then for KUG, yes, um, since your last visit, um, I'm, I'm currently the KUG president, like you mentioned. Um, it's, it's been an excellent journey again. Um, the idea is to uh, contribute my quota, you know, myself and the executives. I have, I have a fantastic executive committee behind it and I have a fantastic membership. Um, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of drive, there's a lot of willingness to want to be part of the FCI, you know, and this, this is a dream that uh, we, are, we are making happen. You know, we, 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 we want to make it happen and it will definitely happen. Yeah, so yeah, basically that's, that, that's been it. Nice one, nice one, nice one, beautiful. That's the boss man right here, Mr. Cyrus Beidou of Alpha Hyundai Kennels. And I'm sure you're loving the scenes right here. Beautiful German Shepherds here. And this is like one of the biggest German Shepherds I've ever seen. The last time was one of the biggest road wireless. <laughs> right now it's one of the biggest German Shepherds right here. Now, boss man, let's talk about Alpha Hyundai Kennels. Um, how many dogs do you have currently? Okay, so... Um 13 on site um, and there are a few like i mentioned there are some collaborations with uh kennels like legion i wanted to mention uh, to, to visit legion you see i've mentioned legion several times because i think he's he's doing a fantastic job with the rots and you, you need to see it um so on on site we have um 13 13 shepherds um and then we have a few um uh, frenchies also available for 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 the frenchy lovers you know uh -huh. so yeah basically um, we've won, we, and we have champions, right? We have Ghanaian champions um, in, in our kennel. Um, just recently, Fakir Paula, who is, who is a champion in Ghana, um, I mean, someone saw him, loved him, and then thought, you know what, I want to have Fakir. I'm like, okay, why not? <laughs> We've bred him enough. Um, he has a good number of puppies around. Um, we have Thai. Thai is, is an excellent producer, my goodness. Um, in his last three meetings, Ty has done close to um, 30 puppies. So he's an averaging, he's averaging like around 10 puppies. Um, we have Zekon, like you mentioned, um, an excellent sable, um, long coat. Um, and you've seen the size. We love the size, you know. We, we, we breed size, we breed, we breed coat. Um, and we think that it serves a purpose for which um, the German Shepherd, the Ghanaian owner, or generally the owner across Africa, you know, would want for, for their German Shepherds. A lot of people who get German Shepherds are looking at security, you know, and um, they should have um, 
the presence that will intimidate you know whatever it is that they are trying to protect themselves from here and and we think that the size in the german shepherd allows that um, without losing out on the agility the intelligence and you know and all the things that german shepherds come with here so uh, basically beautiful 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 boss man now let, let's talk about um let's get more and more about alpha hondi kennel that what we are talking about top german shepherd kennels in not just ghana west africa africa we know for sure that alpha hondi kennel cannot be left out can you take us to the the journey and i think i've also seen some born and bred german shepherds here how are you able to breed to meet the breed standards and all of that take us to boss man right um so that's easy for uh, how do i start <laughs> um i think the hallmark of every successful kennel is um you know steep somewhere in it uh, should be somewhere in its story its ability to produce um, its own you know stock right um, at a certain point you you'd want to be able to point to a dog and say yes this is born and bred you know at a certain point you should be able to say that yes this is produced here in ghana or whatever region um i mean how long will you import you know uh, once in a while yes a dog will pop up somewhere you want to mix up the the dna you know of your stocks etc and then uh, that's it so i'm sure behind us your viewers will see there are several of them um who are who were born, who were uh, raised over here, you know. And the whole idea is to encourage the people who get our pets, our dogs, you know, that, um, you know, initially, one of the concerns you get from people is, oh, will this German Shepherd come up like the parents I'm seeing? Uh -huh. So for me, how do you, how do you, show the person you know you need to show them that yes it's it's doable over here how has the journey been like um it's been one of ups and downs like um every you know life journey uh, but i'll say a lot of ups you know obviously to make progress you should have a lot of successes you know um it's been intentional as well uh, so this this is one of our born and bred uh, mahogany uh, it's yes uh, she likes to sleep in water so that's why you have um, all your coats like that yeah so it's been a lot of ups right comparing that to to the downs um it's been um one success after the other um we subject ourselves to international judges that the KUG presents um so that the ones that we breed you know born and bred over here um those international judges who see them who assess them who tell us uh, where we can improve you know and all that i mean we, we need to bring excellence to whatever we do and that's what we do here so it's 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 for me it's a reason why um we are we are not just ghana you know we, we are known across the entire continent and almost every country um on the continent has um, a couple born and bred from here <laughs> nice one you heard it from the boss man right there the boss of alpha handy kettles i'm sure you've seen some of the dogs right there i can't get i can't wait to let us get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs the names of the dogs and everything i'm sure you're loving this one right here but then in case you want to link up with alpha handy kennels the contact details are on our screen link up top quality german shepherd dogs he's also the president of the kennel union of ghana you want to ask him anything about it just link up with him but then before i proceed with the interview let me acknowledge our proud sponsors by vector chill your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mice infestations you've seen ticks on your dogs fleas mites go to any pet shop or you pick the contact details on our screen and then after giving your dog one tasty soft Bravecto chew, they are going to be free from ticks, fleas and mice infestations for 12 good weeks. Bravecto can be given to breeding dogs, lactating dogs, as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. And then we are also proudly sponsored by Josira Pet Food, the pet food with passion, made in Germany. Quality dog feed. You want the nutritious dog feed for your dogs. You go to any pet shop, they've got puppy milk, sauces, puppy feed adult feed and the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now boss man i know we've, we've met at a couple of dog shows in ghana here I, see, I can see you 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 brought out one of the trophies you've won can you take us through some of the achievements that alpha Hyundai has bagged okay so first i mean even before the ring um as, as a kennel um i think my my greatest pride is in um the ability our ability to um, overcome 
or skill, you know, the major hurdle that a lot of German shepherds have in Ghana producing. You know, I'm sure you've interviewed several I mean German shepherd breeders and they've spoken about, you know, producing, etc. Um, I think uh, what what we have instituted in house, you know, and our ability to overcome um, that challenge for me is, is the greatest challenge, uh, greatest success, you know, um, to be able to see a dog or dogs and, and go like, okay, this born and bred it meets the standards, it can enter the ring, you know, and come home with trophies. It's it's, it's excellent. I mean, this I particularly choose this trophy, you know, to demonstrate because it was won by um, a born and bred. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was one by born and bred, and um, you see here uh, best of breed. You see, uh, I mean, from the trophy, you can see best in group, and it's born and bred. You know, and and that's 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 our greatest pride. You know, that's our greatest pride. Um, other successes, of course, the ring. Um, we over time. Um, I remember the first, the first champion we had over here was Rum. Um, I can see Rum. <laughs> was. Uh, rum, you know, um, and rum is a Polish import. So when she came in, we had to work a bit on rum for to get what they call it her to be titled and all that. And that was that was a fantastic journey. Um, then after that, we've produced, you know, um, one champion after the other, you know, and all that. Um, for list, for viewers who might not really know what the championships are, you know, so um, the Kenya Union of Ghana right um, brings accredited judges dog judges from across the world um, and what they do is that they, they look at the various the various dogs we have in our kennels and they confer um you know accolades on them so the same way you have um let's say horse racing and then various horses having titles and all that yes we don't raise the dogs you know they don't they don't raise but we have um, they have a way they, they need to confirm so when you see a German Shepherd, the German Shepherd must have a certain confirmation, must conform to a certain specific, you know, certain lead out descriptions by the International Federation for uh, for Canines, you know, uh, and and I'm I'm glad to say that even the ones that we have locally bred, for example, in the last show, um, I had three females from from this kennel, um, all getting. Um, excellent uh, ratings from um, from the judge, and that's 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 a uh, an excellent achievement, you know. And that for me is success, you know. Um, going beyond the borders of Ghana, um, several countries, like I mentioned, I have dogs in Zambia, I have dogs in Uganda, in Tanzania, um, here in West Africa, in Nigeria, um, uh, Burkina Faso. Cote d'Ivoire, you know, it makes it makes it makes it really exciting. So for me, yes, these are the successes, and these are ones that I'm really proud of. Yeah, beautiful dog lovers. I've told you if you want to know more about Alpha Honda Kennel and you didn't watch our first visit, go check it out. You go and get to know how this whole kennel started up and everything. He talked more about German shepherds. And all of that. Now, very soon we'll get to my favorite part where we check out the dogs. But Bosman, before I let you um, drop out your final message to my dog lovers watching us, I know these are there are lots of German shepherds right here in this kennel. How do you care for them? Can you take us through a bit? Yeah. So basically, um, like every livestock, right? Um, we 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 want to make sure that they um, they are comfortable. You know, that's where it starts from. Um, the nutrition is carefully selected. You know, we don't just feed anything. We don't just feed anything. Um, we, we carefully select the meat. You know, we carefully select the vitamins we want to put them on. We carefully select um, their sleeping places, you know. Um, generally, the, the temperature we have, the ambient temperature in Ghana is, is, is quite high, you know, compared to where um, the, the, the breed originates from. You know, what it means is that <clears throat> we have to make sure that their, their general environment, you know, uh, makes them comfortable, although the temperatures are, you know, relatively high. Um, yeah, what what do we feed? Um, it's, it's usually a mix, uh, but we are skewed towards um, home-cooked. When I say home-cooked, cooked food that we cook in the kennel. So they eat fresh, they're eating vegetables fresh, they're eating meat, you know, fresh milk meats, you know, uh, we choose um, 
for for those who are um, sensitive to grains you know we can only find you can you'll be able to tell of the whole letter or the whole stock that this particular one is sensitive to this only because we pay attention to how each one of them reacts to the kind of food they, they eat so we don't do a generic thing like everybody's eating this thing. No, 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 not at all. Um, depending on specific weight gains that we want to put on, on, on one or two. So for example, um, a, 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 a bitch that just littered, you know, um, we have to make sure that that bitch is producing good quality milk for the puppies. So their nutrition program is different. Um, when they have completed breastfeeding, we want to make sure that um, they, they gain you know weight again because uh, breastfeeding takes a lot of energy from them and sometimes they, they lose appetite in the uh, first week you know after birth so it takes them a bit of time to catch up what it means is that they will need um, high protein high fat you know to get a good energy base um, they will need to have all their uh, nutrients micronutrients replaced you know all that so we are very particular um about every one of them um all the dogs have their own individual you know divialities and we factor that into the the, the their meal plan you know um our puppies <coughs> when we raise puppies it's with love it's with care you know um again we we it's a whole process i, I mean so if, if if i go through that here <laughs> we'll be done but generally um the main things are making sure that the environment is fantastic. I think your your camera guy uh, got a, sh a shot of, of the kennel, and I'm sure your viewers maybe might be seeing it by now, and you see that it's a huge setup, right? And you can tell that um, even the dimensions of the rooms, you know, huge. I mean, they are spacious. You visit a lot of kennels, so I'll leave you to be judge of that, you know. Um, then, um, after where they sleep, the water they drink, what they eat, how many times they eat, you know, the choice of all of that. We never feed um, poor quality meat. Meat we feed is um, human grade. So if I won't cook that to eat, then the, the alpha handy um, German Shepherd is not eating that as well. You know, um, we don't pass waste, you know, to them, no, 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 not at all, at all. So that's why you see the quality you see. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. I'm sure my dog lovers can also see the quality right here. Now, I've told you, you want to link up with Alpha Hyundai Kennels. You pick the contact details on our screen. Pick the contact details on our screen and link up with the boss man of this beautiful kennel. Now, we are getting to my favorite part where we check out the dogs. But then, boss man, I'd like you to tell my dog lovers something. Look into our cameras and tell them something. And then you drop out your social media handles as well. Right. Um... Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to um, J Dog TV, right? Um, he's Solo One. He's on um, Instagram as Solo One, and then yes, exactly, and J exactly. You can you can follow him on uh, mobile there. Um, <coughs> German Shepherds are fan a fantastic breed, you know. Um, if you are going, you are thinking about owning a big breed for the first time. I would recommend a Shepherd. You know, if you are thinking of, about replacing an old breed uh, that you have, I think you are, well, so of course, it has to be a German Shepherd. Um, the concerns about their coat, their etc., they are unfounded. You know, um, you you will see from from the video that these are all long coats. Um, yes, they, they 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 need a bit of care, extra care. You know, in making sure that their coats are good, etc. That's one. Once you have a dog, even I mean, you're a human, you take a bath, so you, you need to make sure you transmit the same thing to to your dogs. Yeah, basically, um, for KUG because of that, I think I'll use this platform also to talk about KUG. Um, if you own a breed, you are looking at getting a breed, right? Of of any dog. Um, there's a kennel club, right? That um, put together uh, people who own those breeds you know reach out you know look for the kennel union of ghana on social media on facebook uh, reach out and then uh, we will put you in the, that group you know so that you can you know get to learn more things about uh, your own breed for other handy um we are very active largely on instagram um at alpha handy kennels uh, facebook every now and then you see forgive me the staff strength is very small <laughs> you know but uh, we, we do a lot 
of work on, on uh, Instagram, right? And then, yeah, um, it's I'm sure it's scrolling by now, yeah, so they get to see it. Um, on WhatsApp, on this number, we don't pick calls. It's just WhatsApp, 0243-126725. Um, it's just WhatsApp. Um, and then 0501401052 um, is, is also on WhatsApp. Um, you, can, you can reach us over there. Um, normally, you leave a message, and um, if you want to have, you know, like a conversation, we'll have someone reach out to you. And trust me, they, they have a lot of time to take you through um, the whole breed, you know, and explain to you why you need a particular one, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And if you're lucky, you might talk to me myself. Yeah. So basically, yeah. Nice one, dog lovers. That's the boss man, Mr. Cyrus Bade. Well, special shout outs goes out to Mr. Kwame Entry of Legion Rottweiler Kedo. Bless up, my brother, if you're watching. So, dog lovers, this is the part where we get to check out some of the dogs right here at Alpha Hande Kedo. So, don't go anywhere. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. Let's go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. Having trouble dealing with ticks, mites, and fleas infestations on your dogs? Use Bravecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew and they will be free from ticks, mites, and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto Chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas and mite infestations. Okay, dog lovers, welcome back from that quick break. We are my favorite part where we check out the dogs and we are going to start with this beauty right here. Beautiful color, beautiful size. What again do I talk about? Everything about this dog is beauty. <laughs> yes, it's a stable. Um, so your your usual shepherd, most of your breeders, uh, viewers, you know, get to know about uh, black and tan or the black. Uh -huh. um, now this is a sibyl. Um The sibyl, um like the color, you know, it's, it's a definition for the color. Um, and he is exceptional fantastic size as you can see um and so i mean unfortunately sorry your breeders um, he's he's currently just used indoors you know um, hasn't yet been open to the public for for meetings um or on him he's zircon um he's actually one of our latest additions right and um i've currently used him for two meetings Right, we are waiting to see um, how it goes, you know, excellent, yeah, but fantastic size, fantastic dimensions, you know, just head type, he's, 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 a, he's a sweet boy, <laughs> <laughs> a sweet boy indeed, and I just can't wait to see his puppies drop. Yeah, yeah. Um, fortunately, I think that I can probably say, um, he's, he's the only stable I'm aware of over here, right? yes, um, long coats. For, for that matter so if you are thinking about diversity in your um, uh, you know having a german shepherd that's not the regular one that you see all the time yeah uh, you can link us up and then let's arrange a puppy from him for you right yeah basically so that's lena um lena is, is an all black uh, shepherd um so imagine a combination of lena and and Zekon, you are definitely going to drop um, dark colored sables, you know, um, in there. Uh -huh, so, this is Sima. Sima won um, the intermediate, um, what do you call it, class for females, um, long coat. So, she's currently the, um, the holder of that, you know, title in Ghana. Yeah. Um, she's won one of our girls. Um, then, this, this girl. It's, it's, she's she looks small, you know. But for me, one of our best producers, um, she just delivered around ten puppies. So we so we are now putting her back into shape. So that's why you actually see her small like that. She's she's an FCI uh, dog. So she's one of the imports. Uh, and this Thai, um, illest Thai. Um, Shout out to Dr. Victor. Um, he did a fantastic job, job on this boy. Um, we picked him up from, from him because we wanted to 
have more lines, you know, um, in, in our range. And like I said earlier in the interview, an excellent producer. Um, three meetings, and and we have um, we are thirty. <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's consistent, you know the the litter sizes, um, the individual puppies in the in the in the in the litter, excellent, excellent. So yeah, basically these these are the squad. Now the local uh, born and bred ones I spoke about. So that's Raja. Okay. Um, Raja is um, the a granddaughter of uh, Pezu. So those who know uh, uh, dogs, right? Pezu um, was one of so, I mean, still, I think Pezu is still my poster boy. Maybe I'll, I'll have to eventually tie and Zekon will have to work at changing that. Um, so, he's um, she is a granddaughter of Pezu. Uh, we have uh, Mahogany. Mahogany is not around here. Yeah, Mahogany is also born and bred. Um, <coughs> uh, Mahogany is a daughter of Ram um, over here. And you know Ram. Ram, Ram is where. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, that's Mahogany. Uh, she likes to feel at home, you know, so her coat the and Raja and they like to move along together a lot. There's also uh Bonnie. Bonnie's not around. Bonnie is just five months old. Um also born and bred. Um actually yes, so Bonnie is um Ty's daughter. Right, Ty and Sima. Sima's daughter, one fantastic girl who is also coming up uh, nicely. There's Lopez, um you see over there, who was also brought in very um uh, you know young right and and yeah so basically this <laughs> that's 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 our stock that's our stock and that's alpha handy wow, 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 wow. nice one dog lovers these are just a few names mentioned right here at alpha handy kennel and i'm sure today you 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 love today's episode on gh dog tv in case you want to link up with alpha handy kennels Pick the contact details on our screen. Their location is Amra here in the Greater Accra region of Ghana, West Africa. And in case you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And you also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at GH Dog Blog. And in case you want us to visit your kennel, you're a dog lover, you want to be on the show, you want to sponsor our show. Just reach out to us on our contact details 055-328-4056. This episode is proudly sponsored by Bravecto Chew, your number one solution to all ticks, fleas, and mice infestations. You've seen ticks on your dogs. Fleas, mice, they are worrying your dog. Say no more. Go to any pet shop or you pick the contact details on our screen and you get Bravecto Chew. And after giving your dog one tasty sauce of Bravecto Chew, they'll be free from ticks, fleas and mice infestations for 12 good weeks. Bravecto can be given to breeding dogs, lactating dogs, as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. And then we're also proudly sponsored by Josira Pet Food, the pet food with passion. You've got dogs, you're looking for the quality dog food for them pick their contact details or you go to any pet shop you ask of any product from Josira and trust me you're going to love it poppy milk sauces dry food wet food poppy food adult food just link up with them and the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now dog lovers today we visited Alpha Hyundai Kennels and I'm sure you enjoy today's content my name is Solo One you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time GH Dog TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers.